Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about getting user input from the console. Now, this is very useful when you're creating console applications because what's the point of making an application if the user can't imp input anything? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and create a couple variables here. So we'll use dim. Let's just do user name as string. And we'll start it off by setting e setting it equal to nothing. Now, this is just a safety precaution here because if the user does not input anything as their name, then string will not be equal to a value and we'll get an error if we try to print that out on the console. So let's go ahead and declare another value. So user age as integer and we'll set that equal to nothing just in case they don't input anything because then we'll get an error if we try to print out something that's not equal to anything so then we'll do dim user salary as double and we'll go ahead and set that, set that equal to nothing as well so now what we're going to do is we're going to prompt the user to input some information so we'll just create a string inside of our arguments and we'll type what is your name now what we want to do is we want to wait for them to um, put in their name so what we're going to do to do this is we're going to type username equals console dot read line so what this does is whenever the user types in a string of characters and presses enter it's going to read that line there and store it in the variable username so then we can go on and prompt them to type something else so we'll do console dot write line what is your age and then we'll type user age equals console dot read line and we'll just do that again and get their salary so we'll type console dot write line what is your salary and we'll use this up here again to get their salary from the console so we'll type user salary equals console dot read line so now if we go ahead and run this you can see it's going to say what is your name and so if I type in Sam and press enter what it does is it stores Sam inside inside of username and then if we type in our age so I'll say 15 and then I'll type in my salary so let's say I don't know I'm a millionaire so five hundred dollars an hour or five hundred fifty let's just do that and now you can see it didn't do anything so what we basically did was we prompted the user to type in something and then we got that from the console and it is stored in username but we need to do something with username so what we're gonna do is we're going to print that out so we'll do console dot write line you make or hold on your name is and then we'll just add their name so user name and let's go ahead and take out line here and then we'll do console dot write let's just add a space here a couple spaces your age is and then we'll just add user age and then console dot write again your salary is okay so what this does is it's going to write out your name is but instead of using right line, we use right. 
So what this does is once it's done writing this text right here, it's not going to go down to the next line. And it's going to print your ages on the same line as that. And it's going to also print your salary is uh, on the same line as that. So then let's go ahead and just do console dot right line to go ahead and end the line so that we can read what's on the console. So let's go ahead and run this. It'll say, what is your name? I'll type in Sam. It'll say, what is your age? I'll type in 15. What is your salary? $500.50 an hour. And it'll say, your name is Sam, your age is 15, and your salary is 505. Now, whenever you type in a, a number value into the console, so let's say I type in 500.50, the zero is not needed, so it is taken out when I print that. So let's say I typed 00500, it's going to take that out and just give me 500. Now, I'll give you an example of this. So I can type, it'll say, what is your name? I'll type Sam. What is your age? If I type 00015, what is your salary? Uh, 000, let's do $8 this time, $8.34 an hour. Say, your name is Sam, your age is 15, and your salary is 834. So what this does is it takes out all the unnecessary zeros in there. Because 0000, zero, 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 or however many zeros there are, 15 is just equal to the value 15. So Visual Basic is going to take out those zeros for you. You could, if you wanted to, you could change that to a string and it would print out all these numbers together and not take out those zeros if you wanted to. So um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial.